54 year old woman comes to the pediatrician's office with her 17 year old daughter she tells the patient that she develops Jogren syndrome when she was she was her daughter's age and uh, that uh, she is concerned about her daughter developing the same condition the girl appears to be in good health with no sign and symptoms of disease or pathology which of the following antibody will most likely to be positive if woman's daughter were to develop Stockren syndrome okay this patient has uh, dry i think eye and mouth and no they are just saying if this patient has a uh, uh, higher risk of uh Stockren syndrome because his mother mother also had and what are the antibody so this is the answer for uh, Stockren syndrome okay this is anti ds uh, dn antibodies for the sle antihistone antibody i think drug induced drug induced sle and and uh, anti top isomer antibodies for scleroderma and anti cyclic citrulli uh, citrullinated antibody for the rheumatic i guess yeah so this patient has a history this patient has a family history of Stogren. mother has and uh, sign and symptoms of Stogren's are dry eye dry mouth so conjunct uh, keratoconjunctivitis sika and xerostomia and uh, diagnostic finding of ntd and ssa which is also called ntro and anti ssb which is anti la antibody are the diagnostic antibody found in the laboratory workup for stogren though these antibody are seen in 60 to 70 percent of patient with stogren syndrome and uh, these antibodies are usually absent in secondary Stogren syndrome, which is seen in patients who have underlying disorders such as SLE, scleroderma, or rheumatic antibody. If it is secondary, usually uh, these uh, antibodies are absent. As I told you, uh, anticyclic citrulline, which is very specific for the rheumatoid arthritis, very and. Uh, anti double stranded dna antibody is uh, specific for the sle and anti histone antibodies is for drug induced lupus erythematous which drugs are causing uh, uh, drug induced are these three four i guess yeah you need to remember these four because they can ask you from this question procainamide hydralyzine minocycline isoniazide these drugs can cause uh, uh, drug induced SLE. And uh, anti top isomerase antibody of, and uh, this associated with the scleroderma, mainly in middle aged women. Okay. Rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, Stogren, drug induced SLE, and uh, scleroderma. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.